Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I'm going to show Outlook and the default email client on the Max Lumi device. Let's start with the default email client. We'll go into the from the app section, go into email and right now I have my Google account set up in this particular uh, email app right now. You can see you get a good list of emails going down here and the size of the font though are is is really small and tiny on here so this is where you may have to adjust the font size to fit a little bit better for or make make them more visible to to your liking but let's go into an email first okay so i'm clicking into an email i'm going to go ahead and sh let it show images and we can see here the email. This is of a subscription, a user subscribing to my channel. Let's see if you can zoom in and out. You can. You can see how that works. And let's go ahead and see if we can optimize this a little bit better here. So if we go into the app optimization settings, you can see that the functionality does not, um, it's not applicable for this application. So right now in order to change the font settings in here you're more than likely going to go into the settings and let's go into the settings and see if that helps a little bit here i'm going to go to home settings more settings and system display so in here we can change the font size let's go ahead and change it to the max which is extra large and let's go back to the email app and see what that looks like. Now you can see you've changed the entire experience of the tablet in order to try to fix the font size of this one particular app, which is, um, as you can see now, it does show a lot larger than before, which is more readable. And if you click into the that same email, you can see the font fills up the screen a little bit better. But again, the downside to changing the system font size is that every application, um, default application then takes on the new font size. And you can see the system also in all the different areas changes the font size. So for me, this is a little big for everything else. Um, I wish they turn on the app optimization settings so I can just change the font settings for the email client there. Let's go change it back and I want to go into Outlook. Change this back to small and we'll go back into the app. And I have Outlook, Microsoft Outlook downloaded here and we can see Microsoft Outlook and the fonts actually a lot bigger on the, the Outlook application by default. I didn't change any of the settings at all on the app, just installed it and ran through the process of adding this email account. Now, if I click on an email, so the email comes up here. We have an image and a background on this particular email. The email is very readable here. Let's see if we have one with mostly text. another email here this account here I basically get um, emails from Microsoft so this one has a little bit more text still has some images looks really nice scrolls really nice now we do have this top toolbar here which is very dark let's go into the app optimization and see if we can change that there from whitened app background Let's remove that and see if that helps. So it does get darker there, um, but it doesn't seem to provide too much other than now you can see the delete archive and other options here in, the, in that toolbar where you can do things with the email. If I go back into app optimization and enable that white and app background, you can still see it. It's a little faded, so change it to however you like. Um, 
And basically that is the Microsoft Outlook app on here. It works just as it does on any of your other mobile devices, Android mobile devices. And you can see here it's pretty readable. You go through, it performs well. Go into other emails. Go into the folder structure here. And you can scroll around, choose different areas here that you want to look for emails, archives, deleted items, etc. So you still get your all your folder options and anything that you pretty much would on an Android device. You can do your filters here as well. Just look for unread, flagged, or attachments in your filters. We can go in here and actually send an email. You can see that it's just the same as it would look, again, on an Android device. So no need to really go through this here. All the options are the same. It looks, looks the same here. Now, if we go in, back into the default mail application, um, let's go ahead and see about creating an email, what the experience looks like. And it's pretty basic. So you get the typical email um, compose window here, the from, the to, the subject, your body. And then you have some options for adding an attachment, sending, and discarding, and some other settings here. Let's go into the settings. So in the settings, the text is really small here, but you can set swipe options. Uh, sender image. You can change the have the default be reply to all. Auto fit messages is enabled. Auto advanced. Uh, confirm before deleting and confirm before sending options here. You can have multiple accounts. I only have one enabled here. So you can set up multiple accounts if you like. Now the great thing about this Max Lumi device is it is um, an Android, it does have Android on it and it does have the Google Play Store. So you're not limited to the default mail app or Outlook. You can download the Google Mail, um, client and any other mail client on this particular device and use it. The only thing is the visual experience could vary between the different applications that you install on here and that you use because this is an e device. Colors will not show up. Everything will be a shade of gray. So in that case, um, pretty much buyer beware, test the application, see if it works well enough for you. And if not, go into the app optimization settings and tweak it to your like, liking. Okay, that's it for this video. If it was helpful, please like the video. If you like the content in the channel, please subscribe and have a nice day.